Hey there, welcome to day 136 of our BU 365 Day Challenge to do one thing every day that improves us. Sharon Hornell from here. And we are talking this month, the month of May, money May, I call it, about our financial well being. One of my favorite topics about financial well being is hard work and work, uh, work effort. Work's the four letter word for effort, right? Well, the truth is, work is important for all of us putting effort into things determines how much we get back out of those things and I've, I've told my kids that for for literally their entire lives and my son's 31 and my daughter's 27 and so for almost three decades or in over three decades i have said what you put into things is what you get out of them if you put a lot into something chances are you will grow and improve and 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 putting something into thing is putting yourself your work your intelligence your thinking your effort into something. So what are some definitions of work based on other people's opinions, AKA the internet? Well, and like I said, it's one of my favorite subjects and it's probably one of my favorite subjects because I always believe that if you work hard, you'll be successful. Now, is there really a direct correlation between work and success or work and financial success? Anyway, we'll talk about that in a minute, but what are some of the reasons, you know, do you have to work hard? Do you believe you have to work hard in order to make money? Do you believe it's hard to make money? Do you believe you have to work hard in order to get what you want, in order to achieve something? Do you uh, believe you need to work hard and sacrifice in order to get your financial goals and objectives? Uh, hard work means putting, and I love this definition, 100% effort for your passion, in order to achieve success, right? Success is the mutual intersection between work and luck. Now, I think that's an interesting one. Uh, again, what do you believe? Do you believe in luck or and or hard work? And is it mutually exclusive, right? I think the harder I work, the luckier I get. And I think how you look at things determines how you feel about work and maybe your past experiences about work. And everything that we think about or believe I think we should call into question and decide on a conscious level, does this still make sense to me? Does this still work for me? Now, my whole life, I've been a believer in hard work. Don't do anything you wouldn't ask someone else to do, both in my personal life and my corporate life. If I wouldn't ask somebody to do something, then I'm not, I mean, if I wouldn't do it myself, I'm not going to ask somebody else to do it. And that, that applies to pretty much everything in my life and has been a philosophy that served me well. Why? Because it allows me the benefits of doing the work myself and really understanding the task at hand. I started doing that in corporate America in order to better understand processes, how we do things, and then how to improve those processes. It's pretty hard to criticize and say, well, this is how you should do a process or this is how you should do a thing if you don't actually have a clue or have never done it. Now, it doesn't mean I had to go out and in all my corporate jobs do absolutely every job in the organization. That would have been, you know, impossible since a lot of the organizations I work with have like 80,000 employees in different departments and processes around the company. So we have to, to work smarter in terms of grouping and creating processes. But that's a, another a topic for another day, I guess. So what are some of the, the benefits of, of work? Why do we want to work and put effort into things? Uh, you know, hard work and work or action, any kind of action doesn't have to be hard or strenuous physically, mentally or emotionally or spiritually. It doesn't have to be hard. We just have to put effort into the things that we want to achieve. Why? Because that sets things in motion. Whenever we have a goal or an objective, and I know we've talked about this a lot throughout the challenge, we need to know what we want. But we also need to know as part of the SOAP framework, where are we? Where are we in comparison to what we want? Because that determines the gap that we need to fill through our actions and behaviors. Why actions? Because we can think about things forever and nothing will happen until we take an action, usually an inspired action, something that says, oh yeah, this is the right move toward what it is that we want. And that's not just with respect to our money and finances. That's in any area or aspect of our life. Our relationships, our our spiritual well-being, our physical health. You know, we can think about our diet and exercise and being in perfect health and sit on the couch and never do anything, never eat right, never take care of ourselves, never do the things we know we need to do. And we're not going to have perfect health, right? Okay, so uh, hard work and work in general 
do a, a lot of things for us. They're the key to success and self-satisfaction. And I say self-confidence as well. So a lot of things we gain from work and putting effort into things and hard work is, in, and we'll talk about hard and smart work in a second. Uh, hard work, we learn life lessons. We learn determination. We learn attentiveness. We learn responsibility. We learn problem solving, self-control, consistency. I added a bunch. Consistency, resiliency, confidence. We learn to believe in ourselves by putting effort and action behind our thoughts and feelings and beliefs. Now, of course, like anything else, we can do this in a positive way or a negative way. I say positive. Let's do things that move us in the direction we want to go and make us feel better, not in the direction we don't want to go. So working smarter versus working harder. There's, there's literally tomes written on this topic. If it's something you're interested in, go research it, you know, go read and learn and find out information for things that we talk about that are important to you or that feel like it's something you want to know more about. Uh, there's lots of shortcuts and hacks on the internet, depending on uh, what area of your life you're working on. And finances are no exception when it comes to shortcuts, hacks, tips, tricks, and strategies. You can find literally millions of them online with respect to advice. Now, the truth is with these, with anything else, yep, they work sometimes, but they don't necessarily work for you and they're not necessarily the right thing for you. You have to decide, is this working smarter and moving me toward what I want? I mean, it's smart to get a coach in many areas and aspects of your life. Finances is no different or an expert. We talked about experts and gurus and coaches the other day. It's smart to get a, an advisor or coach or guru or join a mastermind or learn more about your personal finance if that's what you need in your life right now. And there's, you know, ways of going about finding the right person for you. I think we touched on that as well. But, you know, do, it's just like hiring somebody. Do your due diligence. Uh, check their records. Make sure they're doing what you want to do or have done what you want to do before you take advice from them, right? Uh, people that have done something already give much better advice than people that have just studied or thought about doing something themselves and haven't actually created it in their life. So working smart, working hard, uh, effort, um, again, we, I said work is to many people a four letter word. And the other day I ran across a quote by Elon Musk. What you think about Elon Musk doesn't matter. He is definitely an example of hard work and work ethic that most of the people on the planet cannot even imagine. And so what happens when you're doing things that other people can't imagine doing, they start to criticize and chip away at, right? Doesn't matter. He was comparing and tweeting about, of course, uh, the Chinese work ethic versus the American work ethic. And he basically said, the Chinese are figuring out ways to work longer and harder and put in more effort. The American people are looking for ways to get out of work. And of course, it doesn't apply to everybody. It doesn't apply to a lot of entrepreneurs and a lot of, of people, but it does apply to many people, right? Many people are looking for ways to work less, but get paid more, right? Um, they're not necessarily wanting to create more value in the world. They just want have an entitlement mentality and to say, I deserve to make more money because I'm a human being. Well, right. Human beings, we forget, no one is paid on the planet what they are actually worth. Human beings are infinitely valuable and there's no way to pay someone a, a, what they're worth wage in any, any occupation. And some might argue that billionaires are paid way more than they're worth, but as human beings, we're all infinitely valuable, right? We're worth an, an immeasurable amount because we're human beings and we have souls and purposes and all kinds of things. So if we ever expect to be paid what we're worth for the work we do, we're going to be disappointed. So we look for other ways to determine our value and worth, right? Although money is an exchange of value. So the effort we put in is sometimes valued at the, the reward we get out. Uh, all right, I've meandered on this topic enough. Our action item today is simply to think about what you think about work and hard work and then share one of your thoughts in the comments below. What are your beliefs, thoughts, feelings currently about hard work? Do you, you believe in hard work? Do you believe in, if I want something, I'm going to go gung-ho for it, work really, really hard for a short period of time. None of us can sustain a huge Herculean effort of work all the time. We need rest periods. We need sleep. We need exercise. We need to eat. We need to take care of ourselves. We talked about that in our physical, mental, spiritual, and emotional well-being, right? It's all connected. 
All right. Have an awesome day. I will be with you tomorrow. And I'm not sure what our topic is. I could sneak a peek, I guess, if I had a magnifying glass handy. Oh, my feelings about money. We'll see. I might, may or may not talk about that tomorrow. All right. Any questions? Ask. Otherwise, I'll be with you tomorrow. Share those comments and thoughts on hard work in the private group. All right. Or in the comments below. Bye. Have an awesome day.